Hello. Today's video will be about the unemployment insurance application for Rhode Island. And just for a quick disclaimer, we are not professionals and any information we provide today is done to the best of our abilities with the help from Rhode Island's website uh, listed right here. What is unemployment insurance? Unemployment insurance benefits provide temporary financial assistance to workers unemployed through no fault of their own that meet Rhode Island's eligibility requirements. Here are some COVID-19 related notes. Uh, for this time, you have been laid off or your hours have been reduced. You may be eligible for regular unemployment insurance. If you are an independent contractor, gig worker, self-employed, or a small business owner, you may be eligible for Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, also known as PUA, the new federal program that expands unemployment insurance eligibility to individuals who are not normally covered by regular um, UI program, that's unemployment insurance. For more COVID-19 related notes, if you were denied regular unemployment insurance because of monetary ineligibility, you may be eligible for a PUA. If your place of employment remains open, but you're unable to work as a result of COVID-19, you may be eligible for unemployment compensation if and only if you can demonstrate good cause for voluntarily leaving your job when work is available. For eligibility, you must have earned at least a minimum amount in wages before you were unemployed, and you must be employed, you must be unemployed through no fault of your own as defined by Rhode Island law. You must be able and available to work and you must be actively seeking employment. Actively seeking means applying for three full-time jobs per week and keep a written record of these, um, keep the name and address, uh, the date you applied, whether you've applied in person, online, um, mailed a resume, and what the specific position is and shift you applied for. So save any documentation related to that, and you can use the work search log to help you keep track of that. That's linked right here. And work search requirements are waived for claims related to COVID-19. For eligibility of school employees and educators, you may be entitled to collect unemployment benefits, but have a different criteria for eligibility. You may be eligible only if you do not have a contract or if employer has not provided written reasonable assurance of your unemployment for the following year academic term or for the following period after a school vacation. Reasonable agreement is a written agreement by the employer that the employee will perform services in the same or similar capacity during the ensuing academic year, term, or remainder of the term. Be sure to file within seven days of your last day of employment. There's more info here. It is a guide to Rhode Island unemployment benefits, and you will have a chance to see some of the questions that will be on the application. We'll look at that in a few moments. For veterans, there is a separate unemployment program. Um, it's unemployment compensation for ex-service members. Please also see this guide. This is the guide for filing an unemployment insurance claim. Um, you will get to see here, they'll ask for information about yourself, any dependent information such as number of dependent children. They'll ask about your employment history, um, related employment information, whether you're a US citizen or a migrant worker any related financial information, your educational information, and things for processing, whether you want your taxes withheld from unemployment insurance. So we will link this guide down below and please feel free to take a look at these questions. Where can you apply? You can apply online for both unemployment insurance or the pandemic unemployment assistance. Um, they are both linked here. You can also apply by phone, so please contact this number during normal business hours. We cannot access the application today to do a walkthrough, but please go see the guide. Um, it gives you a good idea of what you will be asked.
for the application when filling it out. What do you need to apply? You will need your personal information, um, your phone number, date of birth, home address, your social security number, and state license number. Uh, for dependent information, as we've seen, they'll ask about your children's date of birth, relationship, and other social security numbers. For employment history and related information, um, they'll want to know whether you're currently employed. Um, if you're employed full time at the moment, you will not be eligible for benefits, so please note this. They may ask for your employer's information, such as name, full address, phone number, job title, and such. And have the last vote for any related financial information, education history, and processing information. For instance, you might have to link bank account information if you prefer direct deposit. And here we have left a document for more information. For next steps after applying for unemployment insurance, if you're eligible, you can certify your weekly benefits at this website. We will link it below. And please note that if you need to, the website can be translated. Um, you'll have to certify for weekly benefits and confirm that you that each week you are unemployed. Here are some alternative options if unemployment insurance is not available for you. There is Rhode Island Works. It provides temporary cash assistance for low income and unemployed parents with children. You can talk to a Department of Health Services representative from these hours and by calling this number. You can also look at our SNAP video that is the Supplemental Nutritional Application Program. It helps low income people and families buy food they need for good health. Um, there's the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. It helps income eligible families pay for their heating bills. You can apply at your local community action agency and the state of Rhode Island offers child support services. So parents who have a child support order or a medical order and have either lost their jobs or are working reduced hours may request that Rhode Island Family Court modify the child support order. Um, please check out our other videos for Rhode Island that we were offer. For more resources and videos, uh, please go to this website. Here is our contact information at info at or you can call 617-942-0271. Uh, we will link more of our videos below and our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching today and we hope this was helpful.